I got to in brief you guys before we go over to uh, the main, you know, meat and potatoes of the Stu Scheller update here. In December, here's the bluff, bottom line up front. In December, Stu Scheller was officially released from the Marine Corps. He's no longer a Marine. He gets out. Before he got out, like days before he got out, he posted like four things on his LinkedIn. Nikki MGTV has a great video on this. Okay. You can go watch the video on Nikki MGTV's channel. I was, I was tempted to make my own comments on it, but I held my tongue to wait and see what happens. A day later, after Nikki released his video, Stu deleted those comments. They were deleted off of his page. In them, he included things like he's breaking his gag order. He doesn't care if he's still active duty. He's willing to go back to jail, all this stuff. Within like 72 hours of him deleting those comments, he was officially processed out of the Marine Corps. We were wondering what Stu was going to do. What's Stu going to do with the $2.2 million, whatever it was, 2.4 that he raised on the GoFundMe in, uh, in collaboration with Eddie Gallagher. And now we know some of what he's doing. So Stu Scheller is officially back. He's posting on his LinkedIn. I haven't been over to his Facebook, but he's posting on his LinkedIn. I've read some of the posts. One thing that wasn't pointed out in Nikki MGTV's video that's going to be important here for this next story is when he signed out of his uh, LinkedIn post, the one in December that's since been deleted, he signed it Publius, P-U-B-L-I-U-S, Publius Publius, which I looked up, I'm like, what is that? It's one of the four men credited with leading the uh, revolution against the Roman Empire to make it a democracy. So he, they overthrew the Roman government to make Rome a democracy. P Publius was one of those uh, people credited for creating the first democratic government of Rome. Thought that was interesting. Keep that in mind. That's going to be important as we go over here to authenticamericans.com, the new website from Stu Scheller. If you have not been over here, that's probably great. So this is Stu Scheller's website that he's built. It's got, you know, it's even got merch and we're going to explore it a little bit here. Okay. So let's talk about Stu Scheller. Stu Scheller, this is his new thing. He's got a lion logo up here on the top left of his thing, his website, American flag, proudly streaming across here. Everything's red, white, and blue and stars. America needs leaders, not politicians, he says. His mission, according to his website, AuthenticAmericans.com, is a virtual town hall where independent thinkers can network, think, and discuss critical issues facing the American representative democracy across all political ideologies, ethnicities, classes, and religions. This community seeks to reunite the United States. A stand the standalone website provides an open platform for authentic Americans to pull video and written content onto their respective social media pages, thereby raising awareness for critical issues facing the representative democracy. Authentic Americans also provides multiple established options for raising capital, on critical topics defined by the community on authentic Americans, this capital will positively impact politicians, military first responders, blue collar workers, and suburban spouses whose values fall in line with the organization. He has not slowed down at all on his threats to bring down the system. On his recent posts, he's doubled down, tripled down on them. His advocating for action breaks down to four principles. Change comes from the people. Open your mind, define your values, get active. Excuse me, got a little bit of a uh, sinus thing going on. So he says, here's why, this is what's so crazy, okay? I don't think that this is, um, th I don't think this is how most people feel, okay? He puts, this is America, and then on the left, he defines the far left and the far right of the government. He says, far left, America is evil, progressive Marxism, transgender bathrooms, everyone is racist, disband the police, far right, government is evil, QAnon, all media is fake, send all drug users to jail. What an interesting like thing to, to, to pick as your issues, you know? And then in the middle, he says, this is America, and do we want a United States? So that's the question. Do we want a United States? So then, you know, you can look at how he's advocating. So this is his new thing. This is his new mission. Uh, this video put me in jail. He needs to work on his thumbnails. So do I. This video got me fired. Feature on Fox News, Tucker Carlson. Apparently, he's going to be on Tucker Carlson tomorrow as well on the 4th, my time. Well, I guess two days from now, it'll be the 4th in the United States. So he's going to be back on there. He's got a section for his messages. Basically, his, uh, his posts here, his uh, viral posts that he's made. He's got a forum. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he's got a forum here. And it says... 
Do systems over a long enough timeline centralize power? Does the political, economic, military machine created after World War II still function? Excuse me, I'm like losing my voice over here. So, on just so you guys know, I want to I want to let you guys know on this top one here. Do systems over a long period of time or a long enough timeline centralize power? I commented, and it's not here. I think it was not published, but I commented. I left a reply inviting Stu Scheller onto the Scuttlebutt Show. It said my reply was put to the admins for review, and it was not. Uh, it was not. It was pending approval from the moderators. But I saw that Stu is very active on here. Stuart Scheller, January 2nd. Uh, let's see. Stuart Scheller, January 2nd. He replies to all these comments. So I, I invited him onto the show. So that's pending. So that's pending. But here's, what, here's what's really weird, okay? There's somebody on here writing as Publius. Publius. Pu pu Publius, okay? Remember what I said that... On Stu's post on LinkedIn, he signed it, Publius. Now, there's somebody posting on his website named Publius, and then Stu Scheller replied, awesome post. Now, I'm not saying that Stu posted and then replied to his own post. I'm not saying that that's what's happening. It's totally reasonable to think that one of his fans saw his post on LinkedIn and then thought, I'm going to make that my username on his website. But it is odd, it is odd uh, that he would sign his posts on LinkedIn as Publius and then find Publius posting long comments and replies, long replies like you see on your screen here, on his website. Now, if you look, before anybody gets too spun up on this, 26 comments, 130 comments, 68 comments on these threads, they're not going too viral right now. Um, but look what he's doing here. Donations over $100 will receive a thank you signed letter from Stu. Uh, challenge coin with a challenge coin included. And it's got a picture of him in uniform. And he's got a shop here where you can buy Stu Scheller merch. Man, if I had this Stu Scheller phone case, I would never have broken my phone. You can buy a Stu Scheller t-shirt, cap, sweatshirt. If you guys are into Stu Scheller merch, I guess you can go on there and buy that. But you can see he's using this, uh, this cool looking S logo for Stuart Scheller. And you can go on there. And then we'll just check out the about section really quick. Scheller, uh, his court, he has his court statement and his Marine Corps charges here. And he has a bunch of photos of himself from the Marine Corps. He still, he still stands by his uh, title of the only person punished over the Afghanistan withdrawal, which I think is, is interesting to take that position. But, you know, we'll see. I, uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. That's the update on Stu Scheller is that he is still doing stuff, I guess. He, he came back in December and now he's got a website and we're going to wait and see what happens. He's going to be on Tucker Carlson in two days. We'll talk about that. I, I wrote him a very, very nice message, a very nice message inviting him onto the Scuttlebutt show. I would love to get them on. Let's see what happens. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that clip from our live show. We're live right here on YouTube, Sunday through Thursday, 1800 Pacific Standard Time. If you want, come on by, join the chat. I'd love to hear from you. If you like that video and you want to see more, consider checking out this video right here or subscribing to the channel with this button right here. I look forward to talking to you really soon. I'm out for now.